I'm continuing a series of videos about how to increase internal resources. In a recent video, we found out why you don't need to leave your comfort zone. In this video, I offer you to plunge into cleaning. If you're just finished making the bed, it's fine. Now we take up the cabinet. It may seem funny, but cleaning is a kind of meditation for someone, which helps to unload thanks to the shelving of not only books, clothes, but also their own thoughts. But there are people for whom it is a real punishment, which one or another person tries to avoid avoid in every possible way. You can understand such people. The cleaning process involves a waste of time and energy. It is also associated with moments from childhood when parents forced us to clean, while we wanted to do something more interesting. Moreover, according to calculations, the average person spends about a year and a half of his life on cleaning. It seems that this time would be better spent on something more pleasant. Well, let's take a closer look. You should be able to clean up. If you do it right, then you can love cleaning. It is necessary to clean up not only for the sake of cleanliness in the apartment, but also so that the hat is also always fresh. If you have chaos on your desk where you can hardly find the right thing, then what is going on in your head? So here are some recommendations that will help you treat cleaning differently. Get rid of junk. Have you noticed that after you have cleaned up a few days pass and everything gets cluttered up again? The problem is that you may be storing too many unnecessary things. Japanese writer and specialist in restoring order Mary Kondo in her book The Magic of Cleaning says that everything unnecessary should be thrown away. How to define those things? There are some that we don't use – clothes, books, accessories, cosmetics and so on. If you take this or that thing in your hands, you don't feel trembling and you you don't think that you will need it in the near future, you can safely say goodbye to the thing. This is especially true of all torn clothes that you wanted to sew up but never did it, or shoes that you wanted to give to the charity or glue. If you really want to help those in need, then take your things to special collection points right now. If you don't wear a thing now, you won't wear it later. Therefore, it can be safely thrown out. Remember, the main rule of clutter – someday equals never. Clean in silence and solitude. In fact, cleaning is a kind of a dialogue with yourself. It's difficult to talk in private when someone is eavesdropping. So it is with your stuff. Maybe you've noticed that when no one is looking at you and no one is controlling you, you clean up much more willingly and efficiently, because you are guided by your feelings and are the master of your actions. Moreover, it's worth carrying out an audit in the closet when no one is muttering to you that a kind of a normal jacket can be left. An additional ritual for cleaning. What else is good about cleaning when no one is at home? It's possible to listen to music or podcasts at full volume. You can create your own playlist or listen to some educational programs, learn a language and so on. You already know that cleaning burns calories, but if you add some exercises to it, then it can be considered a full-fledged sport. American Caroline Bunz, a Pilates coach and part-time housewife, invented her training program Cleaning Mom. Its essence is to clean the apartment according to a special system while using the necessary muscles that allow you to lose weight and keep yourself in good shape. Someone chooses a particular day for cleaning, and since you don't want to devote the whole day to it, it makes sense to add a ritual after as a reward to take a bubble bath or order delicious food at home. Sort things by category. It's hard for someone to start cleaning, because when looking at a pile of things, it seems that the cleaning process will never end, and what to start first is unclear. Start with one thing, only with wardrobe items, only with office and books, or only with kitchen utensils and so on. Start with a big one. If these are clothes, then start with jackets and coats, then finish with socks. It's also important important how you place clothes in the wardrobe and on the shelves. Hang only what is undesirable to fold. Position the clothes so that they rise to the right. Heavier things should be on the right and lighter things on the left. You can turn to the art of Feng Shui. The arrangement of things according to this philosophy can change life for the better even if it's nothing more than an assumption. The power of persuasion also works great, and your life will flourish faster if you believe it yourself. Feng Shui is a Taoist practice, a symbolic organization of space with which you can even choose the best place to build a house where only positive energy will accumulate. 
For Feng Shui, what kind of clothes you choose is also important. It is believed that the condition of your work clothes will symbolize prosperity, home, relationships with loved ones, official success. For example, Apple creator Steve Jobs, the older he got, the less he made purchases. In terms of clothes, he believed that a large number of things made him ridiculous. He even conducted a study on how a uniform style of clothing affects work efficiency. So, for himself, he chose a single style, the famous black turtleneck, blue jeans and grey sneakers. Store things properly, throwing away the necessary and washing the floors is still half the battle. To prevent your work and other places from cluttering up, again, a new place should be located for each item that you left, where you will return it after use. It is recommended to store items of the same type in one place so that you don't have to look for them all over the apartment in a panic in the morning before work. There should be simplicity. If you're trying to develop a new habit, for example, to do yoga in the morning as a regular exercise, you need to put things for classes in the field of reach. The yoga mat should lie in a corner specially designated for sports equipment. Everyone can make the cleaning process as convenient and comfortable as possible for themselves. If you really feel sorry to part with some things and you would like them to go into good hands, act like Peter III. After the construction of the latest version of the Winter Palace was completed, a lot of garbage accumulated, the disposal of which was a serious problem for the authorities of St. Petersburg. Then Peter III made an unusual decision. He simply allowed the residents of the city to pick up any remnants of construction debris for their needs. You can also arrange some kind of a party at which any of your friends will be able to pick up something they need. If you remember some American films, sometimes the main characters arrange such bodies before moving. That is all for cleaning for today. I hope this video was useful to you and you will like it. Write in the comments what events and facts you are interested in learning about. This helps me plan content and shoot videos on the most interesting topics.